Now we have to compete with people from all over the world. Most of my students are talking about Russia. Different parts of Russia, from Yakutia, from St. P, from Novosibirsk. Oh, speaking to AI, what the hell is that? Not Definitely. being stupid. This is the beauty of our job. Yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. true. If people enjoy life, so they want to learn more about it. Oh my God, am I going to be replaced? I would learn how to fish properly and I, I would be a fisherman. <laughs> when we changed uh, our uh, OS uh, from XP to uh, mm-hmm. Windows mm-hmm. 7, mm-hmm. so uh, the company provided uh, some sort of training. Like Girl Scouts? No, no, not no. the cookies, not the Actually, cookies, cookies huh. Huh, but the, the, the cupcakes. cupcakes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can French? do that. I would like to be a surgeon. Hey there, and welcome to the Big Apple School podcast, an English show where we speak about everything under the sun. The major goal of this show is to help you with your listening skills. And of course learn something new. My name's Katya and I am joined here by three wonderful guests. Natalie. Uri is here. And, and Alona. And Alona. So guys, first of all, what's up? What's new? What's shaking? Do you have any news? The only thing I'm doing now is doing some repairing work at home and this is crazy. Yeah. Oh, are you doing mm. the renovation and mm, all, sort all of that? Of, yes. The wallpapers, the floors, yeah, you know, linoleum. All by stuff. yourself. Uh my family helps a little Whoa. bit. Yeah. Good so luck. like yes. Yeah. Impressive. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What about y'all? I have coffee. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I mean, no, no, knowing you, it's not really news, you know. It's more surprising if you said, you know what, I decided to cut down on coffee and I would be like, oh, no way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I used to. I used to, you know, cut down on coffee a little bit. Not anymore. Crazy days. So guys, we're slowly heading to springtime. Yes. Are you excited? Of course. It's, Much more it's, sun. It's, it's been so muddy and... Yeah, yeah, slushy on the oh, road. Yeah. So yeah. I guess that's that's the one of the one of one of the downfalls of that situation. Mm-hmm. Oh, the maybe. downfall I think is also today when we had minus ten at night and all this mud and slush turned oh, into God. ice. Hey, that's and why I'm walking, you know, <laughs> taxi. <laughs> yes, is the only way mm-hmm. to move around. Yeah, because oh, otherwise. But you yeah. have to be outside sometimes, you know. Yes, I I to walk. I, I went outside yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <So> that's, <laughs> that's enough for the week. <laughs> that's enough. Like I can take it. Yeah. yeah. All righty. Well, I can share some news, um, although it might be not as surprising or something. But um, as some of you guys know, and as you know, we have speaking clubs in Telegram. So in this week, we it was really nice coincidence. So I had a speaking club, this live stream in Telegram about um, ecology and eco-friendliness. The very next day, I have my Spanish class and my tutor's like, so our topic for today is ecology and eco-friendliness. I'm like, Well, 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 <laughs> isn't that a nice coincidence? <laughs> so, Aww. but you guys haven't had any live streams yet, right? So it's all ahead of you. Nope. 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 Oh, it's fun experience. It's fun experience. To those listeners who do not really understand what we are talking about, we now have uh, speaking clubs in Telegram, which you can um, join. So you can speak there, practice your speaking, and it's all absolutely free. So it's usually happening once a week, sometimes, you know, once in two weeks, twice a week. So just stay tuned, follow us on Telegram in the Telegram channel where we also post hell of a lot of things like extracts from TV series and so on. So yeah, and in there we post announcements for these speaking clubs. They're really fun. So make sure to check them out because I really enjoy talking to people over there. (laughs) And what I really love is that We have people joining from different parts of Russia and different countries. So we had listeners who joined uh, from Switzerland, from Ukraine, mm-hmm. from Afghanistan. Although that was the guy who moved from Afghanistan to to Russia. From different parts of Russia, from Yakutia, from St. P, from Novosibirsk. Oh, exciting. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Wow. That's so, actually... Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. That's that's actually uh, what's really good about online uh, yeah, education, definitely. really. I have a student from uh, Khabarovsk and another one from, uh, by the way, a couple of students from Moscow, from Krasnodar. Mm. Yeah, I used to have a student from Israel. Yep. 
adorable. Mm-hmm. So this is what I love now. Remember mm-hmm. the days before COVID when since yeah. we are located in Novosibirsk, we would only logically have students mm-hmm. from Novosibirsk. So, but COVID kind of gave yeah. this to us, gave this freedom. So now we have students from all over the world. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Another thank you for those who actually come across our school and decide, you know, to have classes with us, even though we are located somewhere in Siberia, <laughs> you know. So guys, and before we move to our main part, I also can't but mention um, the private Telegram chat that you all are also members of. So we have this um, uh, private Telegram chat, which you can find in Telegram if you search Big Apple Chatbot. This is where you can chat with us, with all of us, with all teachers at any time of day and night, basically, whoever's online will answer you. So this is where we post um, after show for the podcast. And we have some changes. So now after show of the podcast um, is released only once in two weeks. So after show is a great opportunity to get extra content and have extra practice. This is also the place where we post um, vocabulary lists sometimes memes, um, audios, videos. This is where you can chat with other members. So make sure to check this out. I don't know, do not know about others. I'm online nearly most of the time that I'm not working and I'm always looking for some opportunity to chat. And I'm like, hey guys, let's chat. And sometimes there's like no reply. I'm like, let's chat. I don't want to chat. Am I, am I too much? So but let's chat with with y'all about our today's topic. So hey. today we are going to talk about lifelong learning. And my first question would be, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's like when you learn all your life. Mm. Like every Basically. day university, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. So can you be more, sp- is it like studying? Um, what exactly is learning in this case? I mean, so you said everyday university, but studying what or learning what? Actually, there are uh, different uh, types of it. So the first one is, uh, I think, formal education. Mm-hmm. Yes. So uh, it is either school or university and uh, some uh, sort of, I don't know, courses. Yeah. Like language learning. Yes. And uh, the other type is, I think, uh, uh informal yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. so this is for your self-development yeah Mm -hmm. and uh also uh it can be watching uh videos podcasts right Mm -hmm. and stuff yeah so (laughs) wink wink (laughs) 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 right so and uh this is uh, you who uh, actually choose that and uh, Mm -hmm. it all depends on you and uh, that is uh, timeless. Yeah. So yeah, the most important yeah. point here is that nobody is forcing you. Yeah, sure. It's your initiative. Mm-hmm. You want to learn. You want to know something else, something mm-hmm. new. It's like, you know, this, I don't know, thirst inside of you that you want to kind of mm-hmm. thirst for knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. You know, that's, that's actually a very good point that um, we are not forced. Because if we remember our university days, mm-hmm. very often we didn't want to do things because we were forced Forcefully, to. yeah. And um, Natalie might remember when we were in our second year of university, we had philosophy classes. I love them. I, I love absolutely them. did not. I was 17 <laughs> I loved at the them, time. Seriously. And I was like, Ugh, you know, it's so boring. Now I look back and think, yeah, well, because I was 17, like mm. who would enjoy philosophy at the age of 17? That's really <laughs> what <Okay>. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, but now like when you're like in your thirties, you already think, hmm, this is actually something I would enjoy reading by myself and trying to understand maybe getting something new so yeah this is a huge factor Mm -hmm. in lifelong learning this is something you really want to do yourself actually that's funny because when i think about university especially english classes you know we had uliana leonidovna who you know of course is our great teacher can i also (laughs) reveal that at for one month they also had me as a teacher actually yeah it was kind of strange (laughs) situation you know so i had a teacher yeah (laughs) kaita is a teacher (laughs) so yeah and uh, she kind of she forced us she really forced us to like learn but for me it was kind of different because everybody was struggling everybody was being tortured you know but for me it was fun i don't know why she was like okay you have to do this and this and that and i'm like like, okay (laughs) i can do that 
French, yeah. So mm. that felt like so I, I sometimes have a feeling that you have more of an English soul than a French <laughs> one, you know. <laughs> Some actually that's funny because one person I remember uh, she was Canadian, I think, she told me that I look like a French person and I speak like a French person. And I don't know, like <laughs> She said the same about me, but like as if I have a French soul or something like that. I don't know what it meant, <laughs> to be honest, but that's well, kind of strange. Fair enough. <laughs> well, obviously, since we're talking about lifelong learning and all of that, Uni, I'm going to ask you a question. So what about your lifelong learning? So is there something you are learning? Is there something you are doing at the moment? Or let's say within the last couple of years, something that you were doing? Yes. <laughs> I think... Teaching is learning. Teaching, yeah. Teaching is mm -hmm. like expanding your horizon every day. Yeah. Way. You, you explore new ways of mm -hmm. teaching and, and Actually, approaching Yeah, I just student. thought about this today. Sorry if I'm interrupting No, no, you. no, just go for it. Uh, I thought that we have, you know, this sphere, uh, like, again, teaching English. It's like when you can be connected to any other sphere. Mm -hmm. You can learn about uh, law. You can learn about medicine. Yep. You can learn about anything, basically, because language is a tool and you can learn about anything yeah. from your students even. So, for example, when I have a lawyer as a student, she will definitely tell you about mm -hmm. this. Marketing, you will learn a lot, mm -hmm. definitely. So, and it's like you learn all of this information. Yeah, mm -hmm. you sort of absorb it all and uh, actually share after that. Yeah, exactly. Because Absolutely. Exactly. Th this is experience and you, of course, you want to share it. It's fascinating. With your, your eyes are like bright and uh, <laughs> yeah, and you, you want, oh, you know, guys, I learned something mm -hmm. new. Yes. Would <laughs> you like amazing. to know that? Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't necessarily to be like a profession or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. You yeah. learn about location. Most of my students are talking about Russia, different mm -hmm. cities in mm -hmm. Russia. So exactly. have you been there? have you been there no not yet you should be there you should go there you should visit mm -hmm. there so they're talking about why i should visit there so i'm thinking mm, that's kind of interesting idea mm -hmm. so and location like can your, yeah, yeah location can be <laughs> mm -hmm. like a teaching kind of thing i guess yeah mm -hmm. yeah this is the beauty of our job yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's true mm -hmm. that's true even if you follow just the course book yeah so yeah, the course Especially book, advanced, for right, example. So it provides you with such uh, really interesting material. You, you can uh, learn about, uh, I don't know, the development of the person, yeah, uh, about uh, the different traits of character and, uh, I don't know, about, about environment. About all probably, spheres, yeah. basically, environment, mm -hmm. psychology, new roles, mm -hmm. even, you know, yeah. brain functions, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Well, nowadays, uh, together with the concept of lifelong learning, there is also a concept of CPD. Are you familiar with Continuous... Professional... Professional development. development. Yeah. Continuous professional development. So, and if we look at the trends, let's say, lately, we can see that both lifelong learning and CPD have been booming. So why do you think is that? Why do you think there's suddenly an unbelievable amount of courses of all of that i have a couple of theories anybody else yeah uh, yeah i have mm -hmm. two two options on that on one i'm sorry go for go first no please, no no Anna. you go you go I will first. Keep quiet so <laughs> i i i'll take I my talk too much. <laughs> authority no we, we we can think about in both um, it think about like a coin in one part of the coin that you can consider the employer why mm -hmm. employer wants the employee mm -hmm. to be developed in professional ways. Right. And in this other part of the coin, it was, it is like an employee himself or herself, right? It can be one for the business development or business scheme change or upgrade, we can say, or mm -hmm. the other side, if the employee is kind of seeking an individual professional development, it can be beneficial for, for himself or herself. Mm -hmm. But right. mostly the employers are motivating their employees. All right, you should do this and I can use this skill in, in, in here or in there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at the same time, you can also sharpen your skills and add something extra to you. So mm -hmm. I so have an example to uh, actually, uh, when I used to work for Megaphone, uh, mm -hmm. when uh, something changed, uh, for instance, when we changed uh, our uh, OS uh, from XP to uh, mm -hmm. Windows mm -hmm. 7. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the company provided uh, some sort of training for mm -hmm. the uh, uh, employees, right, uh, to uh, get uh, used to new uh, features there, yes, or maybe uh, some deeper 
uh, understanding of Excel, for instance, for the people who needed that. Yes. Yeah? So mm-hmm. that was, mm-hmm. yeah, like, cool. Mm-hmm. Natalie, what was yeah, your theory? Yeah, it was more about psychology, you know. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. life is kind of getting better, mainly, I would say. Yeah, so people are enjoying life more. So, and uh, that's why basically, again, it's just a theory. So, and if people are enjoying life, so they want to learn more about it. They kind of want to understand how it works. Mm-hmm. And again, it's not about survival anymore. It's not about, you know, basic needs. It's about something else. So it's like a higher level. You know? So if we compare it, yeah, exactly. if we compare it to let's say earlier times when people had to struggle just to feed their family, keep the roof about their head, you know. So now we have these basic needs covered, so we have mm-hmm. a chance mm-hmm. to go deeper. Oh, that's that's. But that's again, some people point. use it for just entertainment. I don't know, scrolling, you know, their feet or something like that. But some people just use it for something else. But again, there might be some pressure about that also, you know, because. People want to be useful. People want to be productive all the time. And this is like, you know, drawback of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not necessarily depressing, but a little bit of pressure. Yeah. I have one more thing. We are living uh, the digital uh, era Mm -hmm. nowadays. So we have to be up to date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Definitely. It's like, yeah, we have to learn something new every day. Sort of. And we can connect to that one more thing is that because we live in a digital Mm -hmm. era, so we have a much higher competition right All now. Right. Definitely. So let's say if again earlier, we would only be able to work with people in our city. Mm-hmm. So now we have to compete with people from all over the world. Yeah. And if you want to get, you know, on top of your area, you have to develop whether you want mm-hmm. it or not. Mm-hmm. So the competition Definitely. is the one, especially, you know, in the in the times of change, let's put it this way. So whenever we have the times of change, let's say it was COVID, then it was something different than COVID. So the only people who stayed on top and didn't lose the job and didn't, you know, have anything bad happen to them were those who were developing all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's definitely flexible or adapting people Mm -hmm. so they can see the change. Evolution, basically, yeah. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Well, yeah. (laughs) Okay. I would have some comments like, you know, how everyone believes that it's the strongest who survives, but it's actually yeah, not it's, true. And it's, it's been the most, proved, uh, like, how to say it? It's the friendliest who survives. Oh, wow. That's it's, hmm, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, it's a thing to discuss in another podcast or in another episode. About evolution yeah, or something like that. Yeah, but we should have one. The, that, the, yeah, the, About the, science, you know. Or being evolution. opportunistic. You can also think in that one. All right. Yeah. Find something that would work, mm-hmm. work on it, mm-hmm. train the mm-hmm. personnel, launch it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But as, um, as we've mentioned with the technology and everything, it's also become much more easier, yeah. much easier to learn. Because let's say now we don't have to go to the library, find the sources and so on, only do it through books. Now we can literally develop either professionally or non-professionally, like with our phone in hand. You wake up, you can watch a lecture or something like that. If you have to commute, so let's say every time I go to my mom, it takes at least an hour. I'm like, hmm, okay. So I can read a book. I can watch some lectures. I can listen to podcasts. I can just scroll Instagram. The amount of opportunity is Mm -hmm. endless. And I only do that once every couple of weeks. Now imagine people who commute every single day for a couple of hours. Mm Mm-hmm. There you go. There you have it. It depends on them if they want to develop. Exactly. Yes. So they'll uh, learn something new. They'll uh, read a book or a podcast, whatever. If they want to have fun, so Mm -hmm. they'll just scroll. Actually, yeah. yeah. So I have. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah, I have a couple of students. Actually, most of my students are like that. Yeah, who always develop. Mm -hmm. They have their profession. They have their jobs, but they learn something else they have they get new hobbies Mm -hmm. new sports i don't know new things that they do Mm -hmm. and it's so fascinating it's like so impressive and right right i can tell you that's not only about adults but also about teenagers teenagers are crazy here (laughs) i mean it's a fact but i mean in in a good way yeah way 
because uh, every time I uh, talk to the teenagers, uh, so either they uh, try a new kind of sport and uh, they just uh, dive But deep with that. But I think for teenagers and... it's a bit easier. Mm -hmm. They're still kind of being formed, you know, they're still kind sure. of... What is surprising me though, and if we remember our teenage years as well, mm -hmm. so when we oh, were no, teens, no. when they are <laughs> teens, it doesn't matter, but think about it. They have classes every single day. Most yeah. time it's mm. six times, six days six a week. A week. No? At the same time, they somehow find time to uh, socialize, to go out with friends, mm -hmm. to have hobbies, Being to productive. learn something yeah, new, yeah. to play video games nowadays, to like do so many things. And they seem to be all right. How are you people dealing with that? They don't mm -hmm. have to work. <laughs> you I know? mean, yes, but at the same time, they're studying for like 10 hours a day, six days a week. Uh, okay. Um. Or our times were kind of okay because we we didn't have that kind of electronic devices that yeah, right, maybe, we, yeah. we had mm -hmm. to waste our time with. Mm -hmm. So, but we we were wasting our times different in different ways. Just remember, we were we were I guess more social in a way. Mm -hmm. We were spending. Maybe, like, yeah, but still, uh, I was the kind of uh, teenager who loved. I, I don't know. I I have a pile of encyclopedias at home. Like, yes, yeah. I and, loved reading. I right, love reading. Yeah, but not <laughs> just uh, some sort of reading. Some uh, encyclopedia that was reading. really 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 interesting. Yeah, to learn something new like biology. Wow. Like, go for it, Aww. yeah. Uh, I, I love it actually, yeah. yeah. Um, if you speak about again, you know, all this mm -hmm. lifelong learning. So, I remember like it was probably last year when I decided to make you know a schedule for myself. So, okay, for example, I have work, of course, but then I have, for example, four hours of you know free time, and I like wrote down what I was going to do then. You know, for example, first hour is learning something about. Psychology, okay, social psychology, for example, course, yeah. Then something about physiology. Mm -hmm. Then something about what was it? Yeah, there were like a lot of things. Was it relaxing in the picture? <laughs> <laughs> But it was kind of, you know, uh, it was such. <laughs> uh, it was so fulfilling. It was so. It was nice, you know. I felt like, again like back to school, but I wanted to do it, and I really enjoyed it. So you just passed tense in all of this situation. <laughs> so what happened? I'm not good with discipline, to be honest. Dis okay. So in this case, it was the matter of discipline rather Definitely. than getting tired Definitely. of all of that. Yeah, because okay. I still want to do it. I still have these courses on Coursera, if you or know. Getting it. the habit in a way. Mm -hmm. you yeah. I, feel like, I feel like one of the, um, I don't want to say mistakes, but one of the things that people tend to do is that they think, okay, lifelong learning. I'm going to do this, 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 this. And then they kind of go overboard with that they do mm. too much and of course when you try to do all of the things at once and too much at once they you, don't remember the essence of it mm -hmm. it's not even mm -hmm. about remembering you get so tired mm. easily so and then you lose motivation because you're like oh you know what it's still like oh so, i better sleep so whereas oh. if you start to involve it you know like or add it to your day like slowly but surely in bits and pieces it might have a It doesn't lasting. work for me. It doesn't. Mm -mm. So you you just dive straight <laughs> exactly. into this ocean. It's either that or nothing. It's always like that. But again, uh, it's not about burning out or getting tired. It's about forgetting, you know. Mm. So it's like, for example, I have these million of courses and I'm still like fascinated by them. I'm like really, really interested in them. But I just forget that they exist, you know. I have like, I don't know. So um, you're kind of easily distracted <laughs> by yes. some other... So easily. Important things. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm here studying a new course in psychology. Oh, look, a course <laughs> exactly. in physiology. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I'm focusing on that. Oh, look, another one. Exactly. Like, is it like cute Dory kittens? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. In a good, cute way. <laughs> yes, maybe. Yeah, Again, cool. I have probably like 50 courses on Coursera. 50? Maybe. 50? Five zero. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Really? All different. Philosophy, psychology, neurology. Uh, physiology, again, like I said before, medicine, um, yeah, a lot, a lot. Wow. And that's only Coursera. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I actually, uh, when I had that, uh, like last for studies, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, I, uh, started my teaching career and actually I, <laughs> I got that, yeah, because, uh, Teaching, so mm -hmm. as we have already discussed, so mm -hmm. it provides us with a lot of uh, new um, 
knowledge, material, yes. So that's why you grab something from philosophy, all right, mm-hmm. yeah. You grab some ideas from uh, even medicine, neurology, whatever, exactly. psychology, mm-hmm. exactly. and you're like, oh my goodness, so I can dive deeper there, but not... Uh, too deep. <laughs> <laughs> not too deep, not die, yeah, like, try have, it. <laughs> have enough to spark your interest and actually learn a thing or two, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you don't have to be so yeah. t- so, so mm-hmm. devoted and committed. Yeah, in, in case I, I need that... Uh, uh, so I can research something. Yes, mm-hmm. I can uh, mm-hmm. read a little more. Just learn more. what the topic is. Yeah. Take your yeah. research and present mm-hmm. to your student. Then you're also enlightened. In yeah. Way, yeah? So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so speaking about, you know, all these uh, lifelong learning and stuff. So are there any skills you would like to acquire in the future? Might be professional, might be non-professional. Mm, skills, you mean practical skills? Or profession. You mean? Mm-hmm. Well, any. I would like to be a surgeon. Whoa. Yeah, because I worked with them for, for like mm-hmm. five years or something. I know. Don't want to demotivate you or anything, but <laughs> <laughs> don't like, you have to like go to medical school yeah, first and yeah, everything? Yeah, well, why not? Actually, why not? you're seriously contemplating this. I, yeah, I used to think a lot about it after I graduated from the Actually, university. Should I just go to some... Why not? Yeah, that's what I'm... Yeah, I need to, yeah. I have a friend, actually, yeah. and he's half Turkish, actually. Okay. <laughs> Surprise, well, maybe you have this thing, you know, for being a surgeon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something. Half Turkish, half? But half Norwegian. What an interesting mix. I was waiting for half horse, half Turkish or something, centaur. Yeah. And a half Norwegian. Good <laughs> one. Know. Okay, and? So, yeah, and uh, he was in his 30s, I think, <laughs> when he started, you know, I'm speaking to him maybe like for six or seven years. Like we, you know, just talk mm-hmm. sometimes. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was contemplating the idea of being, you know, a, like a doctor mm-hmm. for a while because all his family is uh, a doctor, basically. Mm-hmm. And he uh, decided to go for it. He's a lawyer, actually, by his oh, okay. major. But he's yeah. actually learning now. He's like on the second year, on the third year. I don't remember, actually. But yeah, I imagine. Love it. That is great. Imagine. But it depends also the motivation, the time mm-hmm. and your, I don't mm-hmm. know. It's it's all you about need you. Some kind of passive income, probably. Okay, I, I I would I would learn how to fish properly, and I I would be mm-hmm. a fisherman. So I have two polar <laughs> polarized kind of. Okay, I can cultivate shrimps after learning Ooh. it. Well, fishing doesn't have to be like you know a profession in order to enjoy it. You can still like you know fish in all the free time you have. Yeah, and also you can make money from that. Maybe mm-hmm. like the crab catching or king crab or snow crabs, like. I don't know, in in Baltic Sea or whatever. That sounds cool. I love Baltic Sea. Of all seas, (laughs) Baltic Sea. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why not? That's interesting. Well, I've always wanted to learn how to cook, you know, (laughs) professionally cook, like a chef. Uh This is something I would enjoy too. So much, really, you know, like to actually go to the courses. I'm still like, I'm actually considering it, you know. Because this is so fun, yes. And, the thing and is, you know French too. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> so you can yeah. go to France uh-huh. yeah, to learn. There are like very popular French pastry schools, you know, but they, they're focusing on pastry, but there are, yeah. But yeah, I remember when I came from schools. France, yeah, I was like, you know, I was 19 and I Googled like, you know, what is the name? I don't remember, but it's like really famous culinary, culinary school. Sorbonne? Uh, no. No. Gordon Bleu, maybe. Called, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I Googled like how much it costs, you know, it was like 200,000 pounds or something like that. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, and this I was like, is... maybe one day. <laughs> okay. And but... I have some spare money. <laughs> yeah, just spare a little money. bit of spare money. <laughs> this, is, this is interesting. Yeah, I would yeah. love to do that as well. Yeah. Do you know that we actually have some sort of they're not courses, like long-term courses, but it's more about classes. Like workshops. Master, master, workshops, master like shop, workshop, yeah, workshops, yeah. Workshops, yeah. Yeah, but actually I've found several places already, you know, to go the weekend, mm-hmm. you know, just for, I don't know, five hours each weekend. And you can actually, you know, get their even license. Mm-hmm. But then you have practice. Share, <laughs> share the information after, after, will, after we're I done will. with the podcast. Yeah, send this my way. Yeah. This, is, this is so interesting. Exactly. And call us for tastings if you have any. Yeah, so we can exactly. taste the things that yeah. you cook. Yeah. I will bring it here, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> to the podcast. Cooking podcast. Guys, yeah. one, once yeah. I heard, uh, so here in our Why city, uh, there I was at least... <laughs> 
whiskey. The uh, culinary culin- 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 class is uh, in English. Oh, wow. Yeah. This so, sounds like a side hustle we can make. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Business plan creating, you yeah. know, you know. <laughs> But wait, actually, you used to make cupcakes. I did, actually, yeah. I used to have a side hustle. I used to make cupcakes as a part-time job, yeah. So I used to sell cupcakes. Like Girl Scouts. No, no, not the cookies, actually, not the actually, cookies, huh. Huh, but the, the, the cupcakes. cupcakes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Different kinds. I've still, I've never tasted them, unfortunately. <gasps> unfortunately. <laughs> How come? I used to bring them to classes actually oh. when I was substituting at university. But oh. yeah, that's true. I was working full time at a school, like mm-hmm. at a secondary school. And then during the nights I used to make cupcakes. And then in the summer I used to make cupcakes for different events, like Uh, photography workshops, you know, wedding workshops and so on. So it was kind of commercial. Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes. yes. Cool. It didn't bring She's much cool. money, you know, uh, but it was just fun experience. Just a startup kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Why did you quit? I think, oh, I ran qu- out of flour, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The thing is that I used to like try the cupcakes that I made because I need I needed to make sure that everything's, you know, on point, that mm-hmm. it's all good, that the cream's good. And one year, I think it was like two years after I started, I got severe food poisoning, not with cupcakes, not with cupcakes, oh, okay. mm-hmm. but just in general. Oh. We were traveling from Novosibirsk to Yakutia by car and we had lunch at one of the diners, you know, just mm-hmm. along the road. Mm-hmm. I got severe food poisoning. I could not eat anything sweet afterwards. So mm. like for, for about a couple of months, mm-hmm. I was very limited as to what I could eat. So when I thought, how can I make cupcakes if I cannot taste them. Mm. So what if I make something horrible and wouldn't know mm-hmm. about it? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, and then somehow, you know, just went down the hill. So yeah, and I stopped. My friends know that I used to, so sometimes I like they're you like You consider <laughs> doing it again? Well, I've been thinking, but the thing is that you can't get much money doing it. Mm. So it's more about for fun. Of I course. love doing it every now and then, you know. So mm-hmm. but just like Natalie, mm-hmm. I, I would love to yeah. unless you hire some Yeah, I don't know, chefs and they chefs. make You may all. expand yeah. it. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. But you know, what's the, no, if you hire chefs, then you have to do the management work and all of that. No, I, I enjoy the, the baking <laughs> yes. side of the story, oh, okay. <laughs> you know. I love cooking actually. Yeah. Oh, we should consider going to these culinary classes together because I should. love cooking. I would love to develop this skill. There's one more skill, which is absolutely not related to job that I would like to develop. Um, pottery so making all this like working with clay doing Mm -hmm. things ceramics Mm -hmm. and stuff like that Mm -hmm. just because you know it's so fun and it helps you to develop your motor skills so which is also good for the brain you know Mm -hmm. your neural Mm -hmm. pathways and so on so yeah i have no idea how it might come in handy (laughs) but it just sounds fun yeah why not like all these but again so uh, if you do the pottery so probably uh you Uh, bake uh, the things that oh, you uh, it's actually uh, pro- uh, produce, yeah. and so uh, you can start your your own uh, series of Aww. the product. Yeah, I you know have one to- girl. Yes, so she used to do the pottery classes, and uh, after that, so she bought the special oven. Yes, yeah, I think it's like a kiln or something. Mm, probably, no I'm not sure. Yeah. I know that. Uh, so she produces really uh, nice, or uh, I don't know, mugs or plates and Aww. stuff, and they are adorable. So she has her own style. And uh, I I even bought a couple of things from her. Aww, so gave it to my mom. Nice. Yes, that's really. Nice. So yeah, and nice. I don't know. What about yours? Are there any skills you would like to acquire? I'm not sure now because I tried a few things. So I tried. Uh, so uh, after I uh, was an event manager. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, after that, I used to work for, I think, five years in. Uh, SPF, uh, yeah, in uh, uh, special effect uh, making uh, things. Mm-hmm. So different mm-hmm. masks, wigs, mm-hmm. mustache and stuff. So that was a like really... Like a makeup artist, special so effect. Fir- first it was like I was quite interested in makeup. Yes, mm-hmm. so that was uh, a nice idea for me as... A cosplayer back back then, yes, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, to, pictures, yeah. yeah, that was a handy uh, thing uh, to learn. 
And uh, after that, I uh, was uh, actually fascinated uh, in the thing, how to do all those things like scars and stuff. And mm-hmm. You must know how to work with props, using the yeah, props. And mm-hmm. With latex, with uh, silicone, mm-hmm. yes, and stuff. And then uh, we came to molds, making boosts, for instance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like... Absolutely. You ask a teacher, hey, is there anything else you've been doing? Yeah. And they just shock you with things they've been doing. So actually the teaching uh, is my kind of fourth or maybe third yeah, change of career. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, same keep, it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it for the after yeah. show. Yeah. We're going to get more personal <laughs> in the after show. The spicy detail. <laughs> So what I wanted to say, now I don't know <laughs> exactly well, where the life can turn us. Yeah. Woo. Well, given that you had a way from makeup and everything to teaching, yes, in your case, yeah. Mm-hmm. especially. yeah. Right. But if we talk about skills and workforce, what do you think will be the top skills needed for the workforce in the future? You mean in general? Not in, in general, not, 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 only mm-hmm. in, not only in teaching, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think soft skills will be really important. Yeah. Not Definitely. being stupid would be enough, I guess. Yeah. Uh, not being stupid has been, is, and will always be the top mm. skill. It's going yeah, <laughs> you know? to be important again, so well, about, have to use it. Are it's there not. any new skills that you think are going to be needed? Speaking to AI. Like, I would I would rephrase it a little bit, like yeah. being able to deal with AI. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, communicating yes. your... It is using properly. AI, yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. even now, actually, in game, even though AI, like all these chats, ChatGPT and so on, they appeared relatively not long time ago. Mm-hmm. If you look at vacancies now in game development industry, sometimes they see like requirements being able to work with AI. Mm-hmm. It's already a skill needed mm-hmm. in that area mm-hmm. already, or in, in the movie industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the special effects, most of the special effects mm-hmm. are being made nowadays, with yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But they are larger scale mm. kind of business. Yeah. yeah. So, because yeah. if we talk about, let's say, soft skills and so on, like uh, critical thinking, empathy, they kind of have been needed for a long time already. So, and I have a feeling that in the future it would be more about being able to work with technology, with certain devices, with certain tools. Mm-hmm. No matter what your area is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, I uh, think that's not only about working, that's about life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is true. Uh, that is true. For instance, mm-hmm. the elderly people nowadays, so the, uh, I don't know, the government or maybe the city sometimes provide special courses for them, uh, mm-hmm. like really? uh, mm-hmm. computer liter- literacy. literacy. Yeah. Yes. So oh, because wow. that's important that's nowadays, yeah. Because uh, how to unlock their yeah. mobile phones, oh, how right. to use the apps and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, COVID changed quite a lot, mm-hmm. and uh, those who could uh, adapt, yeah, so they survived. actually, yeah, they survived. Even the lectures online, mm-hmm. uh, even mm-hmm. uh, yeah, the, all professors, for example, right, yeah, they are not, the uh, I don't know, thirty years old. Yeah, so usually they are older. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We talk about the general amount, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, in general age of uh, the uh, teaching staff, yeah, mm-hmm. all over the world, I would yeah. say. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so th- those people who are flexible, who can uh, learn something new, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like digital technology and stuff. So that's essential. Yeah, some people learned technology during mm-hmm. lockdowns, and some mm-hmm. people reinvented mm-hmm. the use of toilet. Paper, yeah, back <laughs> yeah, yeah. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. They were yeah. just stockpiling on all that the toilet paper so when it first hit. <laughs> well, speaking about, you know, all these digital things, there is one question that is on a lot of people's minds, which is which jobs will disappear then? So now that we have the technology and all of that, so a lot of people's a lot of people and professionals are afraid that, oh my God, am I gonna be replaced? By AI slash robot slash technology. So, what jobs do you think won't exist in the future? Mm. Postman. Postman. <laughs> we yeah. don't have much. Postman. Receptionist. Any clerk jobs or yeah. I don't know yeah. cashiers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the robot. The role. robot or <laughs> the robot, yes. Yes. Yeah. Can yeah. scan your mobile mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Just, mm-hmm. Even now, I mean, in California, yeah. they have this uh, cashierless and. Uh, like supermarket from Amazon where there in, are no in cashiers. Japan too, yeah. like at Seven Elevens without cashiers. You yeah. just get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in our supermarkets, so there are zones with yeah. the cashier yeah. and there is a, a God, yeah. finally the self-checkout <laughs> zone. <laughs> zones, right? So, so what else? 
Mm. All basic labor, I mean, all, uh, I don't know. Oh, like something demanding physical labor? Exactly, exactly. Like builders, stuff yeah. like that. Builders, I'm not sure, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else? Like loaders, people yes, who like exactly. move all, yeah. the, all the hard um, and things. Yeah. What else? Or anything telephone involved or hard line. Oh, you know, yes, yes. Like Do you know like those like call center telemarketers, call centers, yeah, yeah. yeah call mm-hmm. centers. I'm calling you from this company. Would you Dispatches. like to try uh, yeah. or mm-hmm. this product or mm-hmm. whatever? So you can, you can automize it. Mm-hmm. And just Actually, I used to work like one, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> but again, for... Oh. I was a dispatch uh, for uh, an international company. Yeah, so the airport. No, no, no. Uh, the international uh, company which provided uh, some transfer services. Yeah. Aha, okay, right. Okay. So that was airplane uh, dispatch. I no, 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 no not airplane, airplane dispatch. dispatch. Just yeah. No, I mean a different one. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I used to work like as a kind of dispatcher. You know, like for Aeroflot. Cold oh. calling? No. No, no, no. Ah, it was okay. accepting calls. I think I spoke about this on one of the podcasts. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Call center representative. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. exactly for English and French. Mm-hmm. But it was later. But before that, when I was 19, I needed to earn money for going to France, actually. So, and uh, I was uh, actually calling people, cold calls, you know, to uh, do some surveys. Mm-hmm. So, hello, would you like to answer a couple of questions? And beep, beep, beep. No, <laughs> no actually, no. no. They used to talk to you. You know, oh my goodness. Yeah, a lot of people did, actually. But again, the, and they you were, should keep right? them. On exactly, the line, exactly. right? For a certain period of time. All the questions. Mm. And there are mm. a lot of tricks, you know, that I learned, you know, intuitively from that. Like how to keep them interested, how, you know, to, from the first line, again, to Introduce make them yourself interested. Well, yeah, the exactly. first impression mm-hmm. and exactly. everything. So, and it worked, you know. Look, oh God, I still remember some old people, you know. Not old, but like in their 50s, maybe. Especially men who were like, oh... By your voice, you sound such a cute girl. You want to <laughs> talk after this? Or something like that. That was really kind of creepy. Alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, I guess a lot of people nowadays, again, if we talk about jobs disappearing, they say, oh, we can see, you know, all this AI and so on developing. So do you think that teachers will be replaced or interpreters will be replaced? Interpreters, maybe, actually, I think. Might be. No. No, I think. No, I don't think so. I think if, it depends. If we will, let's change the business. Thing, right? <laughs> Just do something else. You no, know, teachers you probably not, because, again, mm-hmm. people need some personal approach all the time. The same is it with communication. interpretation, yeah. I think maybe, maybe translation, but not interpretation. Translation, yeah, but uh, interpretation, I think, you know, it depends on... Uh, the sphere. Mm-hmm. Let's speak about political events, you know, some big oh, things. You, you, you spawn, huh. It so will not disappear, is, I think. Mm-hmm. It so won't be there. There's, there's one thing about that, that people say, oh, it's going to disappear. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, the thing is that very often the job of an interpreter, not just to tell you directly, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. to translate exactly. in such a way that the idea is convict, but you cannot, not, you mm-hmm. do not have the liberty to say what they've just said because that's just going to mm-hmm. ruin the whole relationship between the companies. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. If I speak about, you know, like high Mm-hmm. I don't know. So yeah, it's much I've more. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, so yeah, that people do not really right. see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the opposite question then: What jobs do you think will be in demand in the nearest future? Medical personnel, of mm-hmm. course, as, as always, usual, as because always. Because people yeah. are living longer, yeah. so and they need more. You know, Scientists, of y- course, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the way, the scientists, I think, are those people who uh, learn like. All the time, All actually. All the time. Yeah. It, goes, yes. it goes with a job, you know. Yeah. It comes yeah. with the territory. Right. By the way, yeah. Uh, funny thing about lifelong learning. So I was uh, watching an interview with... Um, uh, I'm not sure how to call these people in... Like, you know, people who study about old people. Oh, Gerontologists. Okay. Gerontologists. Uh-huh. Yeah. Geriatric. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Geriatric. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, he was speaking about like uh, what kind of people lives longer. So what do you need to do? And apart from, you know, physical activity and definitely education and, you know, learning stuff all the time. So he mentioned that scientists are the people who live the longest. Because they live. Like they live and they learn. Mm-hmm. And the they time. use their brains all the exactly. time. All like the motor time. activity. Right. I would prefer things. to believe that teachers would <laughs> come into the same category and fall into the same category, you know, would love to think so. Actually, might be, I think. Yeah. 
It yeah. depends, probably. If we speak you, about school teachers, maybe not. You know that it's proven that uh, the Alzheimer disease, uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, to 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 beat it, uh, to uh, you need, to, make, learn. You need to learn languages. Mm-hmm. You need to, to, to do some new uh, neural ma- manual, pathways. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. right. In exactly. Brain, in the brain. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. So if we uh, talk about, you know, what professions will be in demand, I believe that with the you know development of all these like AI and so on. I believe that we will need people who will deal with the AI and robots and whatnot. Because they Obviously. will need to be operated. They will need to be maintained. Especially if we talk about like robots. Mm-hmm. So it's still device, a technology can break. Of course. So we'll, of course. Need, we'll need these professions And it's not well. like we have AI and it exists. Yeah, so it needs more information. It needs new data all the time. Mm-hmm. So. So, and um, there is also a belief that with this fast-paced world and the constant technology development, so p- some people should be ready to change their careers every five, ten years. What are your thoughts on that? Should should we be ready to change the careers every five, ten years? I've already done that twice. So, yeah, I would do that again. But did you proper. do... Oh, we're going to keep that. Okay, we're okay, going to keep right, that. Okay. <laughs> I have so many questions. Right. Yeah, I've already spoke about yeah. myself a bit. Me too, but uh, mm-hmm. uh, the idea that I but have... But wait, but, okay, question without any detail to all of you. So you've changed careers, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. But did you do it because of technology development or did you do it because you were sick and tired of the previous uh, Yeah, I got job? bored. I got bored. Yeah, so yeah. it's not really connected with the technology development then. I was interested in something new, so uh, yeah. Not, not so I, we, we, I, got I wouldn't, I yeah. wouldn't wait that. All right, mm-hmm. the technology is going to replace my position. All right, I feel if I feel bored, I was just all right. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. See ya. Mm-hmm. In this what case, is next? it's more about like people being forced to change huh. mm-hmm. their their position and their career because, well, it's like think about people who were um, working at the factory of. Henry Ford Mm -hmm. before the revolution Mm -hmm. everything was done manually Mm -hmm. but then with the you know with this revolution and everything automizing process Mm -hmm. they had to find something else Mm -hmm. so a lot of people were laid off because they were replaced by the by the Mm -hmm. technology so I'm I think about more of that side of the story where people will have to change careers because otherwise they wouldn't be able to make any sort of money because they would be replaced Right, but not, not, not all of them will have to change Actually, their yeah. careers. Maybe they will have to change, uh, to make some changes in mm-hmm. their Yeah, yeah, career. so we, we yes. saw it in, 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 like, in the lockdown like time, yes. time. So mm-hmm. we adapted ourselves, ourselves right. teaching mm-hmm. online instead of face-to-face. Mm-hmm. So Fair enough, so we have to be... Adapted in a way, so implementation. Flexible. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Flexible, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about our personal experience in everything in the after show. So guys, stay in tune for that. And if you won't, it was really nice to have you as listeners. So stay tuned and we'll see you around. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> see ya.